If you like it, and can afford it, support the makers and buy it. Foxit Software's Phantom PDF, in both standard and business editions, make a good choice for basic office needs, but it suffers from an identity crisis once you get to the high-end features. Foxit's download page makes the bold claim that it is better than Adobe Reader and Acrobat, but a more accurate statement would be that it might be better, in very specific circumstances that may or may not apply to you. Many years, and jobs, ago, I was a tier 2 technician supporting Adobe Acrobat. I am an Adobe certified expert in Acrobat 6.0 professional. What I want you to take away from this is that I am a veteran in dealing with both Acrobat and PDF files, and that I understand that the number one question people want answered is, will this $130 software do what I would normally have to spend $299 or $449 to do with Acrobat? The answer depends entirely on what you would use Acrobat for. I formed my opinion comparing Fox at Phantom PDF against Adobe Acrobat Pro 9.5. The claim is hiding in the title bar, but it's there. At a glance, Fox at Phantom PDF more or less has feature parity with older versions of Acrobat, they both have basic annotation tools, interactivity elements such as links and buttons and forms, and basic editing features like adding, removing pages. There are minor differences in how some of the features work, but the differences really aren't that interesting, nor are they so one-sided as to make one a vastly superior experience over the other. Where things get dicey is when you get to the advanced feature set. Fox it seems to have added a number of features that are only available in the pro edition of Adobe Acrobat as a marketing tactic, rather than as a holistic design decision, which ironically makes it harder to recommend based on those features. The advanced editor looks fancy, but isn't all that functional. The most prominent example of this has to do with working with standards compliant PDF documents. Phantom PDF can recognize and validate PDF, A, Archival, PDF, X, Press, and PDF, E, Engineering, documents. But it can't create them. There is an automatic conversion option, but if you don't like the result there is no way to fix it. The best the Phantom PDF printer driver can offer is PDF slash A1B support, but forget about my core image resolution controls. The PDF, E conversion option is especially puzzling, considering that Phantom PDF doesn't support embedding the 3D models or dynamic content that the PDF, E format was created for in the first place. Another example is the advanced editing mode. At first glance, this seems like something that might be useful if you need to fix a PDF right now, you don't have the original document, and it was due at the printer yesterday. However, the advanced editor is very difficult to use with precision, it cannot create KMIC objects, nor can it convert RGB objects to KMIC. This makes its current incarnation more of a novelty than a useful tool.
If you like it, and can afford it, support the makers and buy it. Oh, my God.